This is Psalms 40, 1 through 3. It's in the description area. I waited patiently on the Lord, and he inclined unto me and heard my cry. He brought me up also out of the horrible pit, out of my merry clay, and set my feet upon the rock, and established my goings. And he hath put a new song in my mouth, even praise unto our God. Many shall see it, and fear it, and shall trust in the Lord. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for saving my soul, Lord Jesus. Thank you for dying on the cross for me, Lord. Lord, please forgive me of every sin I've ever committed in my life. Father, I pray for every soul on this planet, Lord Jesus, that you save them all. Lord, feed everybody that's hungry today, all across the world. Everyone who's, uh, shelter everyone who's homeless today, Lord Jesus, and give everyone fresh water that needs it. Lord Jesus, pour out your spirit upon all flesh all across the world. Show everybody your love and that you really care for them, Lord Jesus, as individuals, Lord Jesus, today. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you um, for patience, Lord. And, and I, you know, help, I, I thank you that I'm able to wait, that I have the ability inside of me to be able to wait on you. Lord, when I ask for things or just when I want to talk to need to talk to you or when I need answers, I have the ability to wait and that's inside of me, Lord Jesus. And I pray that that ability will rise up inside of me and take over, Lord, along with your spirit, my spirit, my own personal spirit and the Holy Spirit, Lord Jesus. And I thank you for the ability to wait. And I, I really thank you that you do uh, listen to me. You incline your ear to me and you... You hear every word that I say, and you really care about me. You really love me, Lord Jesus. Although you don't give me everything I ask for, and I don't get a chance to see everything that I pray for that you do, I know that you're working on them very intently, Lord Jesus, because you do love me and you do care for me. And you do listen to me, because you, you hear my voice and you hear my cry, and I thank you very much for that you hear my cry and that you care about my cry and that you, and that you, you love my voice, Lord Jesus. You love the relationship that I, that's, uh, that I have with you and that w that's growing with you, Lord. And I thank you for bringing me up out of, uh, out of a horrible pit because I was headed to the pit of hell, Lord Jesus. And you rescued me from myself and you rescued me from hell, and I really appreciate you for that because I would never want anyone, in anyone, to go to hell, Lord Jesus. And you raised me up, and you set my feet upon a rock, which is you, Lord Jesus. And you gave me the word of God, and you gave me prayer, and you gave me a great relationship with you, Lord Jesus. And I thank you for setting my feet on you, uh, the rock, Lord Jesus. And that you always go before me. You establish my goings, and you have a, have a plan for me in my life. You've already got it planned out, and um, I appreciate that, Lord. And I thank you for putting a new song in my mouth, Lord. Ever since I've known you, I've, I've, be, I've been growing with you. It, everything is new, Lord. I'm a new creation for sure, and I praise you. I praise you. And I worship you and I glorify you forever and ever and ever. And I always want to be with you. And I always just want to trust and believe in you 100% for every single situation in my entire life. And I know that I will see that. And, um, and my trust. My trust in you is growing and I pray that it will continue to grow. I want to trust and believe in you for every single thing all of the time forever and ever in Jesus name. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, amen. You can subscribe to the channel if you like. But the main thing is to keep praying, keep talking to God, and get that relationship strong with him. Stronger and stronger and stronger all of the time. Get your husband or your wife and your kids together every single day at the same time and do a declaration such as this. And then everyone sit around in the room and pray. Say an individual prayer. And then everybody goes their separate ways. The benefit to that is everybody's going to grow, 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 grow their relationship with the Lord. It's going to trust everyone. It's going to trust and believe in the Lord a little bit more 
every single day. Have a great day in the mighty name of Jesus Christ.